Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. Today I bring you loot from 1000 Spindle and the goal for this one is to make as much profit as possible, hopefully obtain the pet and get as many anti-PKs as possible as well. The gear for this video is almost the same as last video featuring the mace as well as the void waker in the inventory. One thing you will notice right away though is that I was using amethyst darts in every single kill here and these worked out well against the small spider spawns that you encounter throughout the fight. Other than that the mechanics are a little similar to Calvarion which I will explain more later on in the video but before we get started today we do have some words from our sponsor Clash of Clans. Download the game for free right now by using my link in the description or in the pinned comment or you can simply scan the QR code on screen. Clash of Clans is set in a fantasy themed persistent world where the player is a chief of a village. Clash of Clans tasks players to build their own village using the resources gained from attacking other players villages with troops, earning rewards, buying them with medals, or by producing them at their own village. Climb up the ranks, create or join a clan, and ultimately become the best. If you don't want to battle right away, feel free to sit back and produce resources within the safety of your own creation. But don't forget to set up towers because you never know what lies ahead. Download the game for free now using the links below or scanning my QR code and I hope to see you there. A huge thank you to Clash of Clans for sponsoring today's video. Alright well with that being said let's go ahead and get into today's video. So what we have on screen here is uh, the very first kill of the grind of 1000. This is kind of an example of how I kill Spindle. I always use the amethyst darts as soon as the spiderlings spawn and get a little bit close to me so that way I don't go out of distance from the spindle. Once I have the spiderlings killed which only takes one hit per spider I quickly put on my mace again and then I get back to killing the boss. Other than that whenever that giant web spawns underneath you I just do my best to quickly um, avoid it at all costs because it will cost you a lot of HP and prayer and then I get back to killing the boss and that's really all there is to it uh, when it comes to fighting this thing. A little bit more advice I have for you guys is if you ever see anyone dressed like this while killing the boss uh, don't skull up on them odds are they are just trying to get you to skull and they will quickly tele block you and hey I'm all for showing examples so I figured I would just spec this person and honestly at this current point with their HP being so low I very well could have killed him so I would recommend this skull tricker be a little higher HP most of the time but nevertheless it did work so be on the lookout for that you're gonna see a lot of instances of PKers teleporting away Away from me and I will just kind of say at the beginning of the video that as it goes for the anti PKing in this one compared to 1000 Calvarion I found it a lot more difficult and the reason for that is just because a lot of the time a PKer would run into me I would be very low supplies and that almost makes it impossible to fight back but nevertheless I did try my best throughout this video and for this one I did save all of my deaths towards the very end so stay tuned if you want to see that 31 kills in and here's our first rare drop the fan Fangs of Venonatus, which at first I, you know, thought it was 3.5 mil, but then I was quickly alerted by my Runelite plugin that it was over 14 mil at this point. And I did decide that anytime I would get a rare during this video, I would just sell it right away and keep the coins uh, from the initial coin drops that I'm already getting so we can see that stat grow time and time again. The benefit of that drop is that it's very compared to the uh, Skull of Vedion drop, which is not as much money as this one. So I would say Spindle is definitely better GP per hour than Calvarion. But again, I would say RNG plays a huge role in it. I mean, you could go very dry for this drop and maybe you can go over to Calvarion and get everything right away. It really just depends on your luck. But as we know, in Loot from 1000 at Calvarion, I was unlucky and I did not receive a Void Waker piece, which all of them go well over 50 mil right now. So that is very upsetting. I'm hoping that I can change that uh, in this video. But, you know, you guys already saw the thumbnail, so you probably know what ends up happening. 100 kills so far and one kill after that there you guys go another fangs of venonatus this time it's looking at 13.8 mil so it looks like it dropped one mil in the last uh, 
60 kills or so, but we're going to go to the Grand Exchange and sell that right away and just go ahead and add that to the coin stack. Yeah, the fangs of Inanatus drop is actually 1 in 618, so I was very lucky to receive 2 already. Not the luckiest time to uh, be AFKing there, but yeah, I was paying attention to my other account, and there we go, but I got all my stuff back, so that's alright. And here's some random guy who attacked me as I was running, but I'm not sure why. I'm pretty sure he regrets it now, but either way, I got a nice little uh, key from him. Probably like 75k loot. Pretty sure the things I picked up in my looting bag to fill up my inventory was worth more than that, but either way, I will take it. As you can see, the gear setup was pretty much the exact same as the Calvarion video. Same with the inventory layout. The only difference being uh, Amethyst darts were involved in every kill here, and I didn't have to use them at the previous Wilderness boss. One drop that is always nice to see from a Wilderness boss, and that I've gotten so many from uh, Venonatus, the bigger boss version of this one, is the Dragon Pickaxe. A nice 3.3 mil that we can go ahead and add into the bank tab. Another rare that I got was an Elite Clue Scroll, but I don't really do those while I'm doing these 1,000 videos at the boss. Um, if it was something outside of the Wilderness, I definitely would, but I was just trying to rush this video because I wasn't sure how stable the rare prices were, and I was just trying to uh, finish this one as quickly as possible. This one was actually completed on Friday, but I had to wait till now uh, to upload it, so you guys have my apologies for that. And there's a little bit of profit that I made from Last Man Standing uh, in between doing last video and this video. I finally cashed in and made 11 mil, so that's nice. And here we have a fight outside the cave, the Karasi coming in with a great special attack through prayer, and uh, yeah, this guy was risking a decent amount. One of the uh, best PKs in this video, no doubt about it. Overall loot, when we go into the loot chest here, comes out to be about 5.2 mil, and I was really happy to get it. Anytime I did get attacked, I tried my very best to fight outside of the cave rather than in it. And here we are again, 230 kill count, and yet again, another Fangs of Venonatus. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have my item overlays turned on, so I quickly did turn them on, so you can see the flash there. And I was just so surprised, you know, three already, and we still have so many more kills left to go, as I am just uh, hopping worlds with the Rune Ore struggle on the Iron Man there. So it did take a while for that one to sell, uh, but it was continuing to go down, and I only received 12.8 mil from that one. But luckily after that, they did start going up, so that's good. Here is yet again another close call with a PKer outside the cave. I mentioned before that it's just so hard to fight inside the cave, mainly because there's just so much space, and you can take so much extra damage if you're not being careful while you're being attacked. So that was another problem that I encountered, but yeah, this guy definitely would have died if he didn't teleport on that tick. Uh, the ballista, I think, had him, so yeah. I did run into George again. He's trying to skull trick people, but uh, I asked for some translation. I didn't receive it, but that's all right. 300 kills in to the video now. I was a little discouraged about how the anti-PKing was going on my part. Uh, I was dying a lot more than I wish I would have, and uh, just wasn't getting the kills that I thought uh, I would be getting. But at the same time, I was having such great luck while killing the boss that this was definitely lifting my spirits, and I didn't really care too much about the uh, PKs after I started making so much money from Spindle. Nevertheless, though, I always want to show you guys everything, so all the times people teleported from me, you will be seeing in this video, and yeah, I stopped counting after a while, because it started adding up. It really did, but luckily, I did manage to kill this one guy with uh, an air staff. Went by the username Snail, and my Karasi uh, certainly had no problem keeping up with him, and yeah, we did get the kills. So that was awesome. Meanwhile, I was watching a motivational video by Wes Watson, so you know you're going to get a kill if you're, you know, watching Wes Watson, after all. Those who know will understand, but either way, we look into the loot key and uh, 1.3 mil from that, so I will definitely take another Tome of Fire to the bank. That's not the only duplicate item that we are adding to the bank, though. Here we are with another Dragon Pickaxe, kill count 373. Once again, I forgot to have my overlays on, so we got to drop it on the ground and make it look uh, bright. Either way, uh, it's awesome to see that, and here we go with a smite. And I, you know, you always see a lot of smites with the Karasi. I don't know why people keep their prayer low, or maybe not a lot of people use smite with the Karasi, but yeah, another close call there. Followed by another one. But yeah, I would say it's very crowded at Spindle. I'm sure you guys have seen uh, Sir Pugger's most recent video covering the bots that actually hang out around here. I actually didn't run into any bots because I was scouting from outside, so I never actually had to run into the cave to check, but almost every single world was packed. Really can't blame them, seeing as yet again another Fangs of Venonatus drop. This is a very profitable monster to kill. Even without the Fang drops, uh, I was still making insane money an hour here. I did manage to sell this one for 15.4 million GP, and alongside that, 
56 million coins in the bank along with two dragon pickaxes. Even without the rares, I was getting constant 35 onyx bolt tip drops as well as uh, snapdragon drops noted. And this really helped increase the price check. So definitely a great boss to kill if you're able to kill it. A nice shot by the ballista, 39, and we did get him down. A set of full swamp bark being PK'd. It's actually really good to use swamp bark. I'm surprised that I don't see more PKers using it. Either way, we did take 1.2 mil from that guy, and he was also risking a key. Someone unfortunately died here, and uh, I took their key as well. So 600k from that as well. I will take it. And really nice PK there, almost 2 mil. But back to Spindle, 500 kills now. We are halfway in to the video. Uh, this probably took me, I'd say, three to four days to do. I had a lot of fun here. I would say I probably had more fun here than Calvarion. Uh, I know the anti-PKing you can't compare, but the RNG at Spindle that I was receiving was just unreal. That almost never happens to me. And if you think the luck ends here, ladies and gentlemen, just wait until tomorrow night when you see loot from 10 hours of Armadil. And that is all I will say about that. Well, here we have another guy uh, teleporting away from me. And this was a very close fight. Almost had him killed multiple times. And I, yeah, I was definitely fuming at this point. Here I was pretending to not know what he was doing. Obviously, I knew this was a skull trick. So be on the lookout for this one. Uh, it's a Christmas item. It's not an actual dragon dagger. So it's not actually attacking you. So yeah, don't don't uh, skull up on that. Almost 600 kills in. And another dragon pickaxe to the collection. That's awesome. It's still at a decent price right now too. So that's uh, that's over 3 mil. So it's definitely going to help at the end. One thing I haven't seen so far at all on my collection log is a treasonous ring. So I hope to get that on the uh, collection log after all my kills here. And <laughs> there you go. 113k. Very cheap right now. I actually decided to buy 100 of these rings and they all sold. So they're just sitting in my bank now and I hope they go up a lot. It probably won't happen, but we'll see. One thing I definitely did not expect, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. The Void Waker Gem. Current price, 70 million. And I actually received it from this boss. I didn't get one from Calvarion. And the drop rate across the board is all the same. One and 912. Uh, currently, as of this, you know, night recording this voiceover, it's 65 mil. And I actually was fortunate enough to sell it for 70 mil. So I'm glad that I was selling these rares as soon as I was getting them. But yeah, that is incredible. I mean, uh, the coin stack is just ridiculously high right now. And uh, other than the Dragon 2H, looking at the wiki, the pet is 1 in 2,800. And those are the two rares that I'm missing. 800 kills in, 200 kills to go. What a journey it has been so far. And uh, meanwhile, this guy was killing Ents for Wilderness Slayer. And, you know, I wasn't assigned anything, but I wanted to kill him. Unfortunately, though, I was not able to get the job done. But, you know, you can't be risking that kind of stuff doing Wilderness Slayer and not expect to be attacked. Like, come on. And here's another air staffer. I don't know why, but you know, whatever. So he's gone. And back to Spindle we are. 885 kills. There is the Dragon 2H sword I've been looking for, which means that we're only missing the pet now. And after killing Venonatus 4,000 times before this update, I have never had the Venonatus pet. So I'm hoping that maybe in this video I can pull it off. And if not, well, I guess it's a good reason to go back here. Or of course, uh, visit Venonatus, uh, the stronger version of this boss in the future and kill him a thousand more times. Yet again, and another close call with a PKer. His username definitely brings back memories of 2011. Those who know will know. Either way, 955 kills into the video, and here I am expecting to finish it. I already have my message typed out, and what do you know, ladies and gentlemen, they had to give me one more thing, 998 KC, and yet again, another fang drop, and unfortunately, I forgot my teleport. So yeah, I had to go, uh, home teleport there, but we did sell it in the Grand Exchange for another 15.4 million, resulting in 152 mil coins. Now it is time to wrap this one up. Loot from 1,000 spindle has been completed. Unfortunately, this was the first ever time I didn't type in Flash 2, just Flash. So that's a little awkward, but we can just pretend that didn't happen. So there you go, loot from 1,000 spindle, and here is the price check. Let's go ahead and price check all of the normal drops first. Uh, this should be a good example of what you can expect if you don't receive a rare drop. So the very first price check, this is everything, including the dragon pickaxes. It does come out to be 44.5 mil. And keep in mind, that would be a little bit more, but a lot of the restore drops that I received, I did sip on, and I did use as I was doing this 1,000 uh 
kill journey. And now it is time for the second price check. This is all of the rare items that I did sell, as well as the one item I couldn't fit in the previous price check, that being the Karam ones. 152.5 mil from this price check, which if you add those two numbers together, it looks like I made 197 mil from killing 1,000 spindle which is just insane. And now it's time to price check just the small amount of PKs that I did receive. This number coming out to be almost 7 mil. So, you know, I died around 6 to 7 times, lost over 10 mil, but with the PKs that I did receive and all of the last man standing I did in between this video, I definitely made enough money to cover my deaths probably over two times. So we had no pet drop, unfortunately, but five fang drops, one void waker gem, three dragon pickaxes, one treasonous ring, as well as one dragon two-hander. Overall, rune light loot tab looking at uh, 198 mil right there, just based on the current prices in the grand exchange. Uh, I never did complete that elite clue, so stay tuned for next video. It might be a third age item. You never know. And just looking at the overall uh, rune light loot tab, you know, we have a thousand calvary on there a thousand necks, a couple, you know, but a hundred phantom muspa. So many awesome things that I've done in the last few months that I just want to keep growing with and uh, hopefully growing my bank at the same time. Still using that borrowed Elijah and it did come in handy for this video and you will see it in my next video featuring uh, soloing Armadil for 10 hours. Uh, what you're seeing on screen here now is just a compilation of my deaths. Nothing too special there other than uh, I did fight Mint Mad Cow, great YouTuber as well who does a lot of anti-PKing and we got uh, almost, you know, so many kills on each other, but he ended up winning in the end. So little shout out to him there. Other than all that, uh, just a huge thank you to you guys for watching today's video. Make sure to support the channel by downloading the sponsor in the description below. It really does help out, goes a long way with the channel and not really a whole lot to update you guys on my side. Just looking forward to throwing a lot of videos you guys' way for this next upcoming month and to wrap up this month. So with all that being said, thank you guys for everything. A huge thank you to the YouTube channel members as always with a special shout out to Swan Positive and Matthew Stivers. Well, that is it for now, guys. Thank you for everything. I'll see you tomorrow with loot from 10 hours of Armadil. And until next time, Mr. No Sleep out.